Hi there, my name is Darius Amiri. I'm the chair of the Immigration Department at Rose Law Group PC, and I want to talk a little bit about the interplay between marijuana laws and immigration laws, uh, especially now that uh, Prop 207 has passed here in Arizona, which of course is the uh, recreational marijuana law. Um, and now that especially uh, recreational licenses are being distributed, so we're actually seeing um, you know, dispensaries open and, and offering um, cannabis goods to the public. Um, so naturally there's a lot of buzz around this topic and um, I wanted to chime in as an immigration attorney and offer my perspective. So I'm often approached by clients who, um, or prospective clients, who have inquiries about their rights to partake in marijuana on a recreational or medicinal level or sometimes as a business venture. Um, and, you know, I, I hate to be a buzzkill, but um, there are still major concerns for anyone who is not a U.S. citizen, who's a foreign national, who would like to participate, uh, whether casually, recreationally, or um, on a business level, in the marijuana space. Um, now recall that Prop 207 does legalize um, the possession and use of marijuana for adults age 21 or older in Arizona. Um, individuals under 207 are also permitted to grow no more than six plants in their residences so long as the plants are within a lockable enclosed area and uh, beyond public view. Uh, but all that being said, marijuana still remains listed on uh, Schedule 1 of the Federal Controlled Substances Act. And because immigration law is federal law, uh, regardless of whether a state has legalized recreational or medicinal use of marijuana, the possession, consumption, or sale of marijuana by a non-citizen remains extremely problematic in the area of immigration law. Uh, could, could result in a finding of inadmissibility for someone seeking to enter the United States um, or deportability for someone uh, currently residing within the United States. Therefore, while a non-citizen might find themselves green with envy at these restrictions, my advice would be that the stakes are just too high. Sorry about those puns, I just I couldn't help myself. Uh, for more information on the interplay between Prop 207 and immigration law, or any immigration-related inquiries, feel free to reach out to me at Darius at RoseLawGroup.com, or check out our website at the link posted below. Thanks for stopping by.